Hello, everybody. Sinesk111 here, and welcome back to more Balatro. Um, believe it or not, as I am recording this video, Bingle Bingle will have already gotten its first ever update. Shocking, I know. I don't know much about that update, except for the fact that it has a few user interface fixes and some modifications to... to how it overall looks. But I'll determine whether I'll get back to it before version 1.0.6 of this channel ends soon. But for now, I have another stake to play on. The red stake. I tried it with the red deck already, but to no avail. So, uh, do I want to play with the red deck again? Seems kind of boring. The one discard in every round, one handed in every round with the with the blue deck. I think I might have better luck with the yellow deck. Because as you've seen down there, and right here now, the small blind does not give any reward money upon defeat. So, I'm going to have to be very careful with with how I manage my... with how I manage this money down here. Oh crap. I was hoping for a full house, but game's not giving it to me yet. I don't think I can play a full house with these eights. Can't play them with the tens either. Come on, game. <sighs> Could I really expect anything different at this point? Probably not. <sighs> that was a pretty disappointing first run. Let's just pretend that didn't happen, okay? Okay. Alright. Let's try this again. Should I? Yeah, I should. Going for a heart flush to kick things off. This time. For a little take two. It's close, but not quite there. But I can play another flush right away. That'll certainly get me there. 570.2 points in total. Alrighty, what do we got? A buffoon pack, for one thing. Blue Joker and Jolly Joker. I'll take the Blue Joker for now. I will need to get a few more cards to add to my deck if I want this to be more of value to me. Okay, it is possible to make a flush with this kind of setup. I'm gonna try for clubs this time, and I got him. Uh-huh. Death, Hierophant. I gotta take both of these standards for the blue Joker to increase in value. And take them I will. Yeah, I'll take blue seals. Don't really care what kind of enhancements they have, but the more cards in my deck for the blue Joker, the better. Go ahead and play this full house, since it is worth more than a flush, I believe. Yep. But only just five chips more. And that doesn't look like a hand that I will be playing anytime soon, so bye-bye.
Ah, oh, hello. Bull. Plus two chips for each dollar I have. Currently 42 chips. And a standard pack to boot. I'll take the six of clubs. I think I'm good over here. Nah, I don't, that's not worth much. Even though it does help my bull out a little. Love to see a seven or a six sometime soon. But I don't get it. Bummer. Now I get the six. I can still make that full house. I would have been pretty bummed out if I had played those sevens and sixes before. Only five dollars, that is fine. Jupiter. How many flushes have I played? Three so far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jupiter card I just got. Because I never know when I need to make flushes, and... This Bloodstone with the Foil Enhancement is really tempting, I've gotta say. I'm going ahead and buying it. And I'm hoping that this Arcana pack has a sun. It does not, but it does have a Hanged Man. And I can use it to get rid of the, of the 6 and 5. Even though that's not gonna sit pretty with the blue Joker. Oh, hello. Upgrade flush by three levels. Indeed I shall. Alright, house, bring it on. With your first hand being drawn face down. I should definitely get there with this hand. Yep. I'm seeing fire. Full house is not really my ideal strategy right now. So, away it goes. I'll hope the celestial pack has Jupiter. It does not. But I'll take the two pair in case I end up having to play anything like that. Give me a sun. You do not give me a sun. I'll take this hanged man though, and I'll I'll add some more cards to my deck whenever possible. Just give it time. Oh, the wall is up next. That's gonna be a problem. A bit less of one if I play my cards right. Oh, hey, it's Jupiter in the shop, initially. I'll be looking for them hearts now. I do not get one, but I will take this purple sea lace of clubs for a tarot card upon this card. Hearts are what I have the most in my deck remaining now. No, wait, I meant to say. Hearts are what I have the most in my remaining deck now. Discard the ace for a tarot. I'll use this level lovers to convert this deck of diamonds to wild. And we've got a heart flush. Bloodstone doing wonders for us here in this round. Let's hope it keeps this streak going throughout this run. <sighs> no hearts again. I'll take this stone card if all else fails. It's got a red seal to boot. I'll take this wild card. 
It's not technically hearts. Well, it is technically a hearts because it's a wild. Good enough. Here we go. Okay. Three out of five cards triggered. Definitely enough to get me past the wall. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to do more about my score here. Straight. Yuck. I think I'm gonna save the rest of my money so I can have something that the bull can work with. I'm gonna play this five in, in spite of there being a blue seal. And quite a bummer that none of the cards triggered the Bloodstone's effect. At least there's more chances now. Ah, dang it. Still no triggers. But I still got over. Albeit with just the money from the remaining hands of the $1 per interest. Not very much, still. I think the best course of action would be to save my money. The eye is up next, I'm noticing. No repeat hands in that round, so I've got to be very careful. Two of the cards triggered. That's fine by me. Uh, standard? Hey, you're a farts. Will you be a farts too? No, you won't. Bit rubbish, if you ask me. Okay, just gotta be careful to not play any repeat hand types this round. And all will be well. Okay, well, one of the cards triggered, which is okay. Okay, now I get two triggers. Playing the stone card so I can get an additional 50, no wait, 100 chips after that because of the red seal. And there we go. Wasn't really expecting to beat the eye that easy, but all right. Jupiter? No Jupiter. I will get Uranus, however. Bit of insurance. Okay. There's a heart flush if I have seen one. That's good. The more rounds I can beat with just one hand, the better. Wheel of Fortune time. No. That's three dollars wasted. I think I'm gonna move on now. More money means more usefulness for the bull. I'm gonna have to consider getting some more jokers that'll help me get more money and in turn increase the bull's usefulness. Okay, I got a Uranus out of that blue seal. Do I really want a Mega Standard Pack to risk needing only one card? Okay, 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the Uranus card I got from that. And this Jumbo Arcana pack, too. Wheel of Fortune, you're tempting, but... I think the High Priestess would be the better way to go. Never mind. At least I can get two more dollars out of that. I should be sufficiently prepared for the fish now. Cards are going to be drawn face down after each hand played, but that'll be fine. That doesn't quite get me there, but... Oh well. Okay, so that... That is undoubtedly a heart now. a heart. Okay. I'm definitely gonna win this. Okay, there we go. 4,000 points to spare. I'm definitely gonna have to get some more jokers. The smiley face, for instance. The Sarcana pack will contain... Nothing useful, but this Empress, which I will use on this 2 and this 3. And I'll sell the star, too. Because it converts cards into diamonds. Hearts are really what I'm looking for. There's four already, including this wild. A little over halfway. Thirty-one thousand one hundred six. Fine by me. I'm gonna go ahead and get this death and this wheel of fortune. <sighs> Man, I haven't gotten a successful wheel of fortune in I don't know how long now. In all the times I've tried. I think I'm gonna go ahead and convert this six into a jack of hearts. Okay, I know that this is a wild. I think I'm gonna stick a justice onto this four of hearts for good measure, in case none of the hearts triggers the bloodstone. And it didn't even break. Hallelujah. I'm pretty split on whether I want oops all sixes now or not. And still don't see a Jupiter in here, but two pair will do as always. Oh my gosh, at this rate, I might as well just keep playing two pairs. It's actually the same level as the flush now. 
and it has more chips, but less multiplier. All diamond cards are debuffed. Fine by me. But that's gonna mean all of my wild cards are gonna be debuffed too. Ooh. Holy crap. All five of these heart cards triggered. That was unexpected. I was wanting at least two or three of them to trigger, but wow. Very nice. And I finally see a sun tarot card. I'll go ahead and use them. I'll go ahead and use it like so. Don't know why I said them. I'll get this standard pack in case I see anything useful. I do. Seven of Hearts, welcome. And I'm coming up upon the mouth. I can play only one hand type that round. Here's hoping that this Mega Buffoon pack will give me something I can work with. I'll do the business card because of the... because I can have a chance of earning some money in addition to the smiley face. It's a shame I'm out of Joker space. I can use this big blind as an opportunity to prepare myself. out of that at least. There goes nothing. Ruh row. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't even have anything that'll help me get a two pair. No. Oh man, I am so screwed. Ah, I got 41,396 out of that. Not really all that close to the 52,500 I was looking for. Man. Yeah. Red Stake really ramps things up in difficulty. What more can I say about it? Other than... It is what it is. I don't think I want to give up just yet. I'm going to determine which of these other decks I want to try the red stake on. It will take some time and practice, but I will definitely beat this game on the red stake. No doubt about it. It's just a matter of finding the right jokers to use and having enough money to do so. Or having enough money to purchase the jokers. But, uh... I am going to go ahead and take a break right now, but until I'm ready to move on, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!